So here we're working with Simplus. We have a model of a converter here. And we want to replace this MOSFET switch with a GAN switch. We're going to choose from EPC because their models are available. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first we want to make sure that our model is working correctly. This is set up for an AC model. It just works already, so we're going to run the simulator. Oops, just so you know, it was on just transient here. Um, so we run that, we get the output. And you can see that it's switching. This is the inductor current. And then Vs, W is the switching. And that's how we can confirm that the switching is actually occurring. And our output voltage is a high voltage because it's a boost converter. All right, so now that's great. It works. We want to change this switch into an EBC, GAN, FET. So how do we do that? OK, well, these are not by default in there. So you have to actually put them in there. So first, we're going to go to the uh, EPC website. Just happened to be the one that I'm using. You can do this for any of the new parts. You have to find the piece by library. Here, they have a lot of different device models. Um, you could choose the individual one you want. And piece by is what works here. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom, download them all. And so in my download folder, it will download all of them. So here's our download. If we open this up, we should get all of the models here. First, what you need to do is move them into a file, export them to a file that you want to export them to. I have already made exported them. So in Symmetrics, I did GAN models. I already just imported them over here. So they are in a file. So that's where I'm going to get the models from. Now we have to actually put them into Simplus. So now we can go, if you want the reference for this, you can go to the Simplus page and look up how to do parts management and installing models. They'll give you a pretty good explanation here. Then there's two parts you have to do, installing the electrical model, and then there's the, something we place. So first we need to add where we just put those files. We have to add that to the library in Simplus. So we go back to Simplus. So we can add or remove libraries. You can also drag it. I'm going to do it this way. So I have to go back to where I put those files here, GAN models. And it wants the whole folder. So you have to go into the folder, the previous folder up, click on this one, select this folder. It'll come up here. And then you can move it into your libraries. So now it is in your library. How do we know this? When we go to place, we can place a, from a model from a library. And you'll see that this is automatically all the ones we just added, all the EPC parts, are already added in here. Most of them, the first one I actually already added, so I cheated already. Most of them, they don't have a part that they're associated with. So since you just added them, they're going to be in recent added. Otherwise, you can do all user modules. These are the ones that the user, you, have added. So you can get find them there. So let's say we want to place one. We're going to type the 2001. I want to place this. So place. You're going to get an error that says there's no associated symbol. It doesn't know which symbol to put. So now we get to this interface. And we can, I'm going to put them into GANFETs because I think of them as a separate category. I think I already made one. So I made one here. If you don't have the category, you just press new category and you make a new category. Then you can add the actual symbol that you want. There are lots of different symbols. We want the same as a MOSFET essentially because it has a gate, a drain, and a source like that. So we have to find the right MOSFET. And usually these are enhancement modes, so they're going to act like an N-channel MOSFET. So we can find, we see this some N channel three terminals here. I'm going to go a little bit lower because this is depletion mode. And then we have some older models. We are looking for N MOS three terminal. If I click on that, you'll see this one. And if we actually look back at the one here, it's the same one used for this. So we essentially want to replace that one. OK, so that looks great. The only other thing that we need to do is check the pin order here. So make sure that 
the pin in the model matches the pins here. So we have to actually look at the model here. And I believe it's here. So the subcircuit has the name of it. And then it has gate, in, drain, and then source. So we want gate, drain, source in that order. We see they're not in that order, so we can move this down. So gate, drain, source, that's the how the pin will be connected. Otherwise, you're gonna have the gate going to the wrong place. So make sure that's in line with your code. This is all the code. I think you don't need this. You just need this first line to make it work. Then you press OK. And now you're gonna get your parameters here. Uh, you've selected the part, and you can just press Extract. It's going to extract the parameters for that one, and we can now place this one here. Uh, and if I want to get rid of this, I want to replace this one. Move that over in here. Double click just to make sure everything looks good. Extract it. Uh, make sure we have the parameters. And then if we run again, so I just do choose analysis just to make sure everything is looking good. We'll just do transient for now. Run it. And we want to make sure that we're actually getting the switching. It looks good. We have some inductor current going on here. And we have the voltage going all the way up and all the way down. If you don't get this switching from your switching node, then something is wrong maybe with your pins. So this is a good way to confirm that switching is happening. Um, so anytime that you want to place that part again, then it will already have the symbol. But if you want to place a new one, you'll have to just do that again. So it will remember old ones that you've done, for example, this one and the one we just did. Um, but if you want to place different ones, you just have to reassociate the symbol and make sure that you check the pins. So that's how you can import the models for new gallium nitride devices so that you can use them in Synthos. There you go.